everybody, I am Nico D. Today I'm gonna show you all how to control your Linux desktop from any other PC in the network. For this I'm going to use X11 VNC. This streams your Linux X desktop, so this is different to any other VNC server. Other VNC servers create a virtual desktop, so that doesn't give control to your real desktop. But X11 VNC does. There's one thing that doesn't work, you cannot use sound with it. But otherwise it's really a great program, you can even use it to play games, but of course without sound. There is a way to make sound work, but that's a lot more complicated. Somebody on the RockPy forum asked about how to remotely control your desktop. I explained how X11 VNC works, but he couldn't get it to work, so for that this video. So this works on any x86 PC, with Linux of course, and on any ARM SBC. So here we go! Here I am with my old Roid N2 with Armbian, so it is very simple to install X11 VNC. Just type sudo apt install X11 VNC. And then yes. If you want to create a password for it, then type in this. And two times type the password you want. It can be very useful to know the IP address of the PC or SBC you are working on. So for that I type in IPA and here is my IP address. So mine is 192.168.1.50. This for when the sample username from X11 VNC doesn't work. So to start X11 VNC we just type in sudo X11 VNC. Here is a simple username, so all droids 0. And the port is 5900. Here we are at the Windows PC, so I use VNC Viewer, so either we type in old word column 0 or we use the IP address and the port. And here we have got the Armbian from the old word N2 in Windows. When I move all these windows, then you will see that it moves on both screens. So here, right is my old Roid N2 and on the left is my Windows PC. And when I move on my Windows PC, it also moves on my old Roid N2. When I close the VNC window on my Windows PC, then also X11 VNC is closed on the old Roid N2. To make sure X11 VNC doesn't close, we can use the argument dash forever. That way X11 VNC always stays open. If we want to start X11 VNC at boot we can create a service. So for that we create this file. I use Genie, you can use Nano or Vim or any other text editor. And there we type all this. So it waits for the display manager to have started. And then we execute X11 VNC with the arguments we want. The most important argument is the output, so dash O. So that's the output file. If something is wrong, go and look into that file, then you will know more. If you want to use the password you've created, then add this argument. For this to work it's best to have auto login on and you must have a display connected. Now to activate this service we first need to do system control daemon reload, then system control enable x11 VNC and system control start x11 VNC. Then we reboot and now it should work from boot. So that's it for today. As you see X11 VNC is very useful, but as I said in the beginning it's best to have a very good network connection. With 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi you have a very bad experience. But with a good connection it is really great. You can even watch videos on YouTube with it. I use X11 VNC to do my Blender renders, so I work on my old Roid N2 with my Windows PC. And it works really well, even with Blender which has got a lot of moving images and high quality images. So thank you all for watching, I hope you liked my video, see you later, bye!